Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks with Captain Crazy Hat. Today we are taking a look at the Panzerkampfwagen S35739F. Now this is an interesting little tank here. It's pretty good in Tier 3. And Tier 4 it's still... You know, pretty serviceable as a medium tank. But it also gets into tier 5 matches, which at that point it really starts to struggle. Now, the thing about this tank is you can buy it, it's right in the tech tree. For purchase price 1000 gold, normally, you know, it goes on sale all the time for. 500 gold. It's a really cheap starter tank. I mean, you can train your crew with it, but you don't really have very many crew slots. You only have three. And if you're actually going to be training your medium tank crew and want to do it on the cheaper side, I would recommend the T25 just because it has more slots to train more troops. Anyway, moving back to the S-35. Now, one thing about this vehicle that makes it interesting is that now, um, as of one of the recent uh, patches, the French version of this tank, because this is a German tank that is a captured French tank. The French version is in the game. And we're going to be comparing them side by side. Now, because this is just a little tier 3 premium, um, I have thrown on uh, just all of the basic removable uh, things here. The you know, toolbox, binoculars, and the camouflage. You could fit it with vents. Um, I would think you know it's worth a hundred fifty thousand to fit with vents. Coated optics. You know, spending um, you know half a million on this thing, unless you just have money to burn. It it it's not really worth it. So yeah, we and. These two things really come into play if you, you know, the binoculars and the camouflage, they come into play more if you happen to run into, you know, tier 5 tanks and you're hiding in the woods. So, what is different about this tank compared to its new French counterpart. Well, let's bring up the vehicle details because this vehicle doesn't change. All, all these stats are... that That's it. You can't change them. So, let's go over to France real quick. And here is the Soma S35. And it is mostly identical. Let's pull the vehicle details right next to it and get them side by side. Now, this is a completely stock uh, version of the, of the tank. Um, it does get an upgraded gun and, you know, several other things. Well, the main things to note are that this tank's actually better. Why is that? Well, look... Let's just compare the stats side by side for a moment. Top speed of the German tank, 37. Top speed over here in, in France is 45. The engine is um, 10 horsepower more powerful. Um, right now it has 230 hit points. I believe that increases once I put the turret on, which we will check in a moment. And it also has more hull armor. Now, but at the same time, it has less 
turret armor. Which is very odd, because this turret is the same turret that is on the other model, the German model. And this is the non-upgraded turret. Um, and as and the gun is not quite as good just because this is stock. This is a stock gun, but you know signal range. You know I've equipped uh, the best radio on here. Your, your signal range way better. Your view range it's the same with the this turret. Your turret traverse speed a little bit slower, but the thing about this tank is that you can upgrade it. So, let's go into the research tree and let's upgrade it. So, first and foremost, this uh, turret here that is, well, the same one that's on the, pan the uh, German version, it has less armor in the. F it has less armor all around, but this is the same one that is on the German version. Now, we should bring in the German gun just to um, compare the different guns in here. So, okay, here's German gun. Let's, let's bring that in, and I mean that's the main difference because. Everything else was fully upgraded, so you, you saw them side by side. Alright, so let's go back to the tech tree. Back to France. Alright. Okay, so here we are in France. Now the stock gun is by far inferior to the German gun. So, you know... It only has 25 millimeters of pen. I mean, the stock the stock gun is terrible. You would really never want to use it if you ever had a choice. Well, so let's look at the next gun. Let's try and figure out what German gun this this has on it, because these guns are also available on the B2, the the heavy tank, the tier four heavy tank same gun selection which is why the if you look here the Panzer 30 uh, S35 has the same gun as its heavy tier 4 counterpart well let's look at the medium gun the the medium uh, intermediate gun right here it's not quite as good as the German gun here. It has slightly better damage, but it just, it just just doesn't have the pen. All right, so to equip the final gun, we have to put on the second turret. Well, equipping the second turret, let me go out to the garage and do that. Uh, all right, equip. So we equip the second turret, and then we can equip the final gun. Now, this gun is actually leaps and bounds above this gun here. It does have a slightly slower rate of fire, but having, you know... The, the, the pen on these guns is not is not great, but they're only tier three mediums, but they can get into tier five games. In a tier five game, worst case scenario, your fifty five pen and your sixty six pen, they're really not enough to really work with. But these tanks are both maneuverable enough that you can put flanking fire and you could still penetrate most tanks. Maybe you might need some gold uh, to give you the 90 millimeters of pen. The problem with firing gold is that even this improved gun 
only does 55 damage average. This one over here does 52. Yeah, it's just a very rapid firing. They're both rapid firing guns. This one, the gun handling characteristics are, well, the aiming time is slightly less, and the dispersion is a uh, fail. The, uh, the aiming time is better, and the dispersion is one to one hundredth of a point more. But these gu these guns are largely similar. So in the end, the French version, the researchable free one is actually better in pretty much every category except for turret armor and I think that's it. I think just the turret armor. As we go back to Germany and look at the same tank. Because, yes, it does have worse hull armor because the other one had 40-some uh, hull armor. Uh, let's just bring it bring it back up so we have our exact figures here. Vehicle details. Yeah, the hull armor is much stronger. A French one is much faster. It has a better gun because it, it and it really is much faster. This has a top speed of 37 and that is its top speed. I mean, that's pretty finite in this particular vehicle. Over here, the same vehicle has 45 as a top speed. With 10 more horsepower. Don't really understand why, but... That's, that's a pretty substantial difference. So, enough about the comparison between the French and the other one. And the uh, German one here. The French tank is free in terms of you don't have to spend real money in buying the tank. So why would you buy this tank? Well, I have seen this tank because it's pretty decent. Used in uh, tournament play where there were um, Tier 3 only tanks, and it was used quite successfully. And if you angle the tank just a little bit, it does help to increase the, ar the effect of armor thickness, because this is rounded in here. This is a bit flat, but overall... You know, if you're able to get hull down or something, your turret is pretty well protect protected for being a Tier 3 vehicle. And I actually enjoy driving this vehicle. So, without any more blathering on about comparisons between this and its new French brother, let's take a look at some actual gameplay and see how this thing performs in the real world. Alright, here we are on the highway map, and like I said, this premium tank gets normal matchmaking, so I have to fight tier 5 tanks. And, you know, I really wish I had the better gun from the French tank. I know it's only marginally better, but still, any little advantage that you can gain is really essential. But as it stands, I'm going to have trouble penning a lot of these enemy tanks. So, being a not terribly slow medium, 
I'm going to try and head towards the field. Now, stuff like the DW2, the Gorill, yeah, well, the Arties. Actually, most of this stuff, I believe, with well placed shots, I can pen. Or I have brought 20 gold rounds with me. And this does have a very large ammo capacity, and so does its French counterpart. And the uh, rate of fire is very rapid on both tanks. So, uh, this tank in particular fires pretty much as fast as a lot of autoloaders. 2.17 seconds is my reload time. And the gold rounds for it, well, the uh, premium rounds, shall we say, because they're not just gold anymore, they're reasonably cheap. Just because it's such a low caliber. Because, remember, it's only a 47 millimeter gun. Or, because we're in this is the German version, it is a 4.7 centimeter gun. Oh, jeez. Um, well, that's, that's, that's bad. Um... Some shots into those bushes. And back off, because I'm not really feeling like getting killed. But my sixth sense. Sixth sense didn't go off, so I wasn't spotted. So let's see. Yeah, sixth sense isn't going off. And I'm gonna let that T-34 go in first. Oh, Matilda. Oh dear. That Matilda is going to be a problem. Hopefully... Oh, I'm getting uh, a lot of good spotting damage. Hopefully my team can deal with them. Now I'm gonna move up to support this... Uh, yeah, there we go, we've blocked a shot. So, it's important even, you know, in lower tier tanks to try and angle. There we go, he's gone. Yeah, but as I was saying, it's important to try and angle even in lower tier tanks. I mean, you can still end up blocking things. Alright, he just fired. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get you. And bounced. Seriously? <sighs> oh, I was hitting his gun mantlet. <sighs> I am not, and I never claim to be an expert at World of Tanks. So, here is this tank in a tier 5 match and it's kind of not a really surprising result uh, especially on this map where the medium sort of go one way the heavy sort of go the other way and there's not really too much in between or interplay so unfortunately my time in this game is over uh, I just wish I could have been more of a contribution to the team. Alright, so... It looks like we could win this. Oh, well, there's most of the team right there. Nice. I believe, looking at this, yes, S-35CA, yeah, this is this tank destroyer, the Tier 5 tank destroyer in the French line, is actually based on the same chassis 
and wow, it is pretty much the same thing except open top with a way better gun. But uh, that really ends up being a drawback is the gun on the S35, the Panzer S35. If you get tiered up higher than at most tier 4, then you're really, really going to struggle. I mean, even your gold rounds are really going to struggle to affect the outcome of the battle. So, let me see if I can get into a better game that's more suited to the level of the S, the Panzer S35. Alright, let's just take a look at the battle results. Alright, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we experienced some technical difficulties towards the end of that last recording. Basically, my whole computer crashed, but luckily it saved my footage. Um, after about, what seems like a thousand games, I've finally top tier in this tank. Realistically, I've probably been through about 30 games trying to get footage for this to show what it's like when it's actually able to be top tier. Um, alright, here we go. And when you're top tier in this, you are pretty much... The closest thing to a heavy tank around, except for the Panther 2J. And your French, um, identical twin. Oh, hello, little Panther 2. You like explosions? Alright, you can come with me. Alright. So, let's head towards the town here. You know, it's always so nice to get this uh, map again, sort of fiery salient where the map is on fire. And, oh, it looks like the enemy has been so gracious as to bring us a tier one. Oh, and I think he's going to get snacked on before I can get over there. Oh, but this medium is not getting away. There we go. Locust, too far away to be a problem. A cruiser is more of an immediate threat. Alright, let's pull up behind here. Oh. For some cover. I'm getting machine gunned. A 1C. Right. It's two kills so far. Panzer 1C's really can't pen the sides or front of this. Man, there's a lot of fire coming at me. T1. Uh, oh, poor little deer one. Oh, already. Poor little deer one. Time to put you down, lassie. There we go. Oh, well, something else bounced off me. And again. Oh, and something else. Oh, they're, they're pretty angry. Just gonna lead the way in spot for my team and see what kind of trouble I can get into. Now, this tank also does pretty well in Tier 4 games. I've had a few Tier 4 games where I was able to get four kills. One of them I even got I ended up getting five kills in, which is not too bad. But here at tier three amongst its peers is where it really shines the most. 
and at tier 5, you're more just a scout than anything, but you don't have the perks of being a light tank and having, uh, oh, 127, those are dangerous. And somebody's firing gold. Yeah, 127. The T-127. That's another seal clubbing tank of choice for a lot of people. It has pretty decent armor. It's sloped. And the gun is, I believe, the same one as the BTS-V or a similar variant. Or probably even a better gun. So, it's... It, the, the 127 is a good all-around tank. Alright, let's see here. Come on, guys. Can you pull can you pull off a win? I killed four of them for you. Hands are ones. C's are always fun to watch. Machine gun. Oh, get him, get him, get him. There we go. Yeah, but as for the Panzer S35 even in tier 4 games I've had results where I got 4 or 5 kills I almost got a top gun in one of them while my software wasn't behaving um, and I wish I had been able to recover that file but unfortunately that's just what we have to work with technical difficulties are just a way of or a fact of life you can do well enough in a tier 4 game with this your armor is not really as effective as you saw here i mean i bounce countless shots but if you're in a tier 3 game this really is a very nice tank to have in a tier 3 game but that really leads on to the main problem of this vehicle and that is it has its own French counterpart with better hull armor slightly less turret armor but at, realistically this turret is tiny and that is not really a big target if you're being shot at and the French version performs much better especially if you have to go up against tier fives which both of these tanks do so realistically would i recommend getting this tank uh, well no honestly i it, even if it was on sale for 500 gold i think you could Probably waste your money on better things. So oh, there's the en enemy already. Because, I mean, you can get this tank for free, and actually, you get a better version of this tank for free. That's faster, more maneuverable, better armored. Everything that this tank does, the French tank does better. Alright, well, let's just take a look at the results. Yeah, cool-headed. I'm sure I got that from the uh, Panzer 1C that was so gracious to uh, give me that. And second on damage done. And yeah, I mean, this is the sort of result you can basically usually expect to see from this tank. At its own tier but then again you can see the same result or a better result from the French s35 so I really can't recommend it and like you can see here the 127s that ended up uh, being my demise they were the top two damage dealers on the team because they're in um, the uh, steel clubbing tanks as well. So, can I recommend this tank? Well, 
A thousand gold, which is his normal price? No. A lot of times it goes on sale for fifty or for five hundred gold. No, you can get this tank for just a, uh, you can get this tank for free for experience, and you can get a better version of it. Heck, the French version of it only costs. Let's see, purchase price of forty two thousand credits, which even for a new player, if you're just going down the line. Is not really that much, and you'll have, you'll earn that even going down the line. And if you are going down the line, the Renault is not a bad tank. The Hotchkiss H35 is a pretty excellent vehicle for its steer. And then you get another excellent vehicle for its steer. Um, I've never played. The, these two tanks here, as you can see, but you get three, you know, three decent tanks in a row, and it doesn't really cost you anything. So, can't really recommend the poor Panzer 35 S or S35. So, unfortunately, that is another tank that we will have to resign to the same fate as the gross tractor well that has been another tank review with captain crazy hat thank you very much everyone for watching if you liked go, go ahead and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button favorite subscribe all those things really help and if you want to support my channel more, check me out on Patreon. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.